Good morning, everyone from Colorado Springs. I'm having a great time, a fabulous birthday vacation road trip. Um, it's crazy out there right now. I am packed and I'm ready to, to leave. Um, I was gonna head back to New Mexico and kind of stop and do a little bit of sightseeing along the way. Um, I wanted to stop in Pueblo, Colorado. Um, I-25 is right here outside my window. And as I was packing the car and listening to the television, they have these gale forced winds right now. I mean, they are nutty, crazy, psycho, hair, yeah, everywhere. It was just awful. So I um, asked the people at the front desk, that, is that I-25 right there? Because <laughs> you know, you get a little bit confused. I've been traveling a lot. And they said, yes, it is. And I said, well, um, they said, which way are you headed? And I said, I'm headed to Albuquerque. And they said, oh, don't worry about it. That way is clear. Because it was a standstill. And I, they're like, it, the accident's right here at the on-ramp or the off-ramp or whatever. Whatever they were saying didn't quite make sense to me because I'm like, I'm getting on the on-ramp. And the traffic is not moving at all. <laughs> so don't tell me. You know, I'm like, what do you want me out of here? <laughs> I'm out of here. But I just think I don't want to spend like, two or three hours sitting in traffic. Um, uh, and I was, the, t the television was saying that there was a semi on its side. So let me see if I can show you what the winds look like. They're horrible. So out the window. Oh yeah, you can see the flag right there. You see the flag? Oh, the, it's moving like crazy. And from this window, you can't quite see See, there's a Denny's over there. The freeway is on the other side of the Denny's. So let me give you a tour of the place. I'm just trying to figure out, look at this nice little place to lounge here. And a reading lamp and a bed, of course, standard. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the camera is. And then the little desk area where I was sitting and charging a few things. And as we come this way, see if you can take in the whole thing here. I can't see if it's nice sized television. And then the thing that surprised me about the bathroom, actually, I don't know if you can hear with the fan on, but the shower head. You see the shower head up there? They're not into conserving water here, I guess. But I have to admit, it was a really nice shower. Hi, here I am. Um, seriously, it was a really nice shower. So, uh, I actually loved the place. I, you know, and for a little second, I thought I could stay another night, you know. I actually have no time frame. <laughs> I don't have to be to work until Friday, and today, today's Monday. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Things I wanted to tell you. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is going to be random and out of order, okay? Because I don't want to forget to tell you this. But yesterday, when I went to Pikes Peak, we actually didn't make it to the summit, but we were close. We went all the way up to Treeline, and I believe they said it was either the winds or uh, snow or something, but they, the train couldn't make it all the way up there. But we went up pretty darn far. Anyway, while I was driving into the little town, Manitou, I believe it's called, it was so, such a cute little town. You guys, it was adorable. Like I wanted to go shopping. I wanted to, and people were walking everywhere. I'm like, get out of the road. There's like, it was slushy ice, okay? So you'd slide a little bit and you're like, oh my God, you're on the road. There's a sidewalk. <laughs> anyway, there were people, a lot of people were walking. It was one of those touristy, you know, sightseeing kind of let's go shopping town. So there was one vehicle in front of me and it's a good thing because, you know, I'm listening to uh, Google Maps and I'm driving along my way and I'm looking and I'm, ah! you know having a good old time listening to music and enjoying myself and all of a sudden and, and you know and we're in a town so we're going like 25 mile 20 25 miles per hour the car in front of me stopped and I was like oh 
you know. And I'm looking around like, why'd they stop? There's no stoplight or stop sign or anything. All of a sudden, th four, four deer went just like across the road and they were so cute. Now, I'm just guessing I don't have a degree in animal, you know, uh, whatever, <laughs> biology, but uh, I think they were does, okay? Doe, a deer, a female deer is my guess. They didn't have horns, but I don't know. You know, it's winter time. Anyway, they were beautiful. They weren't like littles. They, they looked full grown. They were actually pretty big. Um, and I thought to myself, thank God I didn't run into them. <laughs> that would be awful. Anyway, they were so, and casual, you know, they were not like skittish or running across the street. And, and I'm telling you, there are people everywhere walking around. And these deer are like, ooh, to do, hi, people. Yes, we're making our presence known. This is our crossing, so everybody put your life on hold for a second so we can get across the road. They were adorable, though. I was like, oh, my God, no camera available. I mean, it's slushy, and I'm just trying to focus on, you know, not running over anybody. But I mean, oh, memory burned into my mind. They were gorgeous and they, just beautiful creatures and just taking their time and enjoying it and taking in the scenery. Oh, they were adorable. Oh my God, they were so awesome.